If your boyfriend likes photos and videos of girls with huge butts on the internet, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Michaela. I have a fat butt. And I will happily block your boyfriend if you ask me. But that's not why I'm here. Why I'm here is to tell you the story of how I got like this. Because I'm just like you. By the way, I have clay all over me. But my ex-boyfriend would like photos of Jeanette Guzman, the Instagram model. I think he actually only liked like five photos total. But when I discovered this, and we had just started dating, when I discovered this, I would cry every night. I would devalue myself. I have BPD, by the way. I would devalue myself. I am not good enough. I am not a good enough person because I don't have a fat butt. And I don't have every single surgery that Jeanette Guzman has. So I'm not good enough. And this went on for a long time. I was very insecure and I became very, very sad. And I just hated who I was. I hated myself. So what did I do? I tried everything in the books. I tried everything I possibly could do to look like Jeanette Guzman. And I think I've done a pretty good job. I think I did a decent job. But now, now this dude is gone. And apparently his type is completely freaking different to anything I am. So I did all this for nothing. You're telling me I got surgery that I can't reverse. Just for the man to go have a different type. If I could choose someone to have donut <laughs> written on their forehead, it would be her. Yeah. That is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lady, have you seen a man's porn history? Do you think all the women that they watch on the porn look like you or look like other, other people that they meet in their day to day? Does that mean that all of those women are their types? This is the dumb thing I don't understand. If I, look, let's be honest here. Let's be honest in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. Have you watched porn before? No. In the porn that you've watched, do the men that you've dated or the men you encounter on a day-to-day -day basis, do they look like that? No, but I'll watch it of the men that I'm into, though. Yeah, okay, that's fine. But do they generally look like that? No, but I would like them to. That's not what I'm asking you. Yeah, okay, we would like them to. But do they look <laughs> like that? <laughs> Thanks. Uh, yeah, you, you might like them to. Yeah, we might like the women to look, like everyone to look at like the female porn stars, but they don't, right? So does that mean because you're watching these guys that they're, they're just your type? Yes. The way the male porn stars look, those are the ones that you watch, they're always your type. Not all of them. Some okay, of well, them. there you go. Why are you watching the ones that are not your type? What is it about them? Because it it's just porn? Maybe it's what's being done in the video. So you're more interested in the technique? As a factor of a contribution of a few different things, actually. Okay, so on Instagram, everyone's <laughs> pictures that you like, have they all necessarily looked like the person you've been dating? No, absolutely not. Does that mean that the person you're dating is not your type? Absolutely not. Does it stand to reason that if I like some girl's pictures on Instagram and my girlfriend doesn't necessarily look like them, does that mean that I prefer the girl on Instagram? No, and it's like you might have your specific type of what you like, but that doesn't mean you can't appreciate beauty in other ways as well. Some guys might be just into blonde girls, but that mm. doesn't mean they're not going to find a brunette girl attractive. Yeah, if you're into blonde girls, but then you see the woman in Legend of yeah. Zorro, I don't know what, a Catherine... But whatever her name is that you're not gonna go mm. you're not gonna look at her and go oh she ain't hot of course she is even though she's yeah. not blonde this is something that i have sort of figured out myself as well you can never gauge what a guy's type is or what he's into by what he's liking on instagram at all men like a lot of pictures as well and if they see a pretty girl or a bum or a boob they are probably gonna like it anyway and you can't change yourself because you you want to be like that he might be liking that picture for a reason for example he might have liked you for who you was you might have been like a real classy babe like great personality everything and that's probably why he fell in love with you in the first place he might have liked this other girl's picture on instagram because he might be having different kind of thoughts about her he might just think she'll be great to fuck do you know what i'm saying he might just like the bum if you're changing yourself to be like something just assuming that that's what he wants and prefers, then of course it's going to go go wrong because he liked you for who you was. And to be honest with you, if you was to change your image and he left you, he's not leaving you just because of the way you look because if he truly loved you and wanted to be with you, he will just love you however you change your image to be. You could correct me if I'm wrong, but men, like they're gonna, people are going to love you and accept you for who you are. Um, yeah, he didn't so get maybe, with... Yeah, maybe your personality might have played a part in it. I'm not saying it did, but he's not just going to break up with you because you've gone and changed your body. Personality aside... 
This woman doesn't didn't originally look like the woman that he was post he was liking, mm-hmm. right? I don't know what her name is, Jeanette mm-hmm. Goodman or something. I, I don't know who that is, but I'm gonna assume she looks a bit like her now because she's changed the way she looks. The guy got with you for a reason. It's probably because he found you attractive. Does that mean that there's no other attractive women suddenly around? Exactly. Yeah. Now I understand if you see your boyfriend liking other girls' pictures that you're gonna get insecure. I've done that before. I understand why a girl might feel a little bit insecure. But mm-hmm. to go to these lengths. This is a mental health issue. This is mental health. It has to, it, it has you to should be. You never change yourself through surgery for a guy. Yeah, absolutely not. Like I said, I sympathize. I, I get it. If you're with someone and they're lo- always liking other girls' pictures, like I've, be, I've done that myself. And I understand now, I didn't understand then, I understand now why they might feel insecure about it. Now, I mean, if you go through my liked history on Instagram, I can show you. I don't like anything. I just scroll Instagram. I, I like anime pictures. My whole life mm-hmm. history is just anime pictures. Mm-hmm. Before then, I used to be going on girls' pictures and liking them or whatever, even before any relationship that I was in. Now I just don't see the point because if I like it in my head, I like it in my head. I need to tell everyone that I liked it on Instagram. So I understand now why it would make a girl feel insecure, 100%. But to go to this length is ridiculous. This is a length too far. And it's not, it's not your boyfriend's fault. This is your fault. You need to take responsibility for what you've done to yourself. You don't know if someone's ever going to stick around. Oftentimes we think we've met our life partner and then suddenly they're gone like that. These are life altering changes. These ain't just some minor things you do in yeah, a relationship. But people should just accept you for who you are. And if they're not going to accept you because they'd prefer the girl with the big bum, then they're not the right person for you. But I think this is the big problem with social media and the generation we're living in. How is it causing people to get to a stage where they are undergoing dangerous surgery and spending how much money on it just because of Instagram pictures? Yeah, and, and BBLs are dangerous. So dangerous. They are extremely, they don't have a, they don't last for a very long time either i don't know what the exact timing of them are but they don't last long they ain't gonna last for the rest of your life you're gonna have to keep on getting top-ups and that's dangerous as well so you're making all these changes when the guy got with you when you looked a certain way if he decides to not like you that's it turn to jog on like i don't look like every other model on instagram but if the girl got with me first of all i'm not stupid enough to think that these guys are suddenly unattractive to her of course even if she doesn't like the picture i know she likes what she's looking at but if you're so insecure you have to go out there and get ab implants and get ab etching and like get all these things done to you to try and match something that you're not. It's not that person's fault. It's your fault. You should work on your own mental health before you get into a relationship. Because if you're at that level of insecurity, any relationship you get into is going to fail. There's, there's absolutely no way it's going to succeed. There's being insecure about some things and dealing with it on like a more minor level. And then there's this. But anyway, this is, this is completely irreversible. So the more weight I gain, the fatter my butt gets, and there's nothing I can do to stop it. It is just constantly growing. <sighs> and today, I was getting bubble tea. Alicia, would you want to tell them the story? I was getting bubble tea today, and some lady on drugs uh, came up to me and was like, so you like the way you look? This is why young girls blah, 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 and just gave me the fat, and I just burst into tears. I bursted into tears, because I was, I was that young girl, okay, and I became this, And this is not what I want to advertise to anyone. It's going to be so controversial, but people that do this to themselves are mentally ill. If we don't, if we say we don't. Okay, well, I take back what I said. She's obviously accountable. She realizes what she's done. She doesn't want to advertise this to young girls. She knows that it's wrong. That's good. That's good. I, I take back what I said. She's mm. not a donut. She, um, I mean, she made a stupid decision, but she can, she clearly knows what's happened. But this is what I was saying. Like what she's done to herself. That's it. Yeah. Uh, she, she can only go further into the surgery now. There's no other way to go about it. And she's going to have to be on her fitness like crazy. Yeah. Because that gravity is going to start doing its job very, very soon. That BBL is not going to look so yeah. good in a couple of years. She felt a certain type of way that pushed her to do that. But now she's added to the problem yeah. of how she once felt. Yeah. she's. Uh, 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 but I do think it's good that she's made this TikTok to tell other young girls to mm. not do it to impress a guy mm. but don't get me wrong uh, wrong we do improve our looks to impress the opposite gender a lot of the time that does happen even though i would ex- I w- i've encouraged guys before go to the gym for yourself mm. but if you're going to do something to impress the opposite gender do it in a healthy way <coughs> don't do it in excessive ways like this it's one thing to go to the gym to get into better shape to attract someone that's fine like even though there could be better reasons to get healthy and get into better shape what you've done is not necessarily a bad thing you've improved your health and, and if the person rejects you, you've still got your health. So it doesn't really mm. matter. But if I really liked this girl and I knew oh, her thing was like, 
I don't know, like very, very, very defined abs. And I didn't have defined abs at the time. And, and instead of dieting properly and getting to that point to impress this person, which I wouldn't recommend doing anyway, but if you were going to, that would be the healthy way. Instead, I go and get ab implants or, or ab etching for, for this person who's not going to like me in six months. They're going to like someone else. If what they like has such little substance, how long are you really going to stick around for realistically? So going to these extremes is mad, but it's good that she made this video. So young girls should not be doing this. I would not encourage any girl to get a BBL. I wouldn't encourage girls to get breast implants. I've heard of so many horror stories of breast implants where they've gone wrong. I've heard of like infections that people can get. I've heard of them uh, exploding or like mm. they, they blow up in the chest. I've heard of people dying from it. I've heard of people having to have them removed because it's killing them slowly. So I can only imagine what BBLs are doing. And all the girls that have gotten BBLs now, like we're going to be walking around in, in this society of girls with fucked up bodies in 10 years, like completely mashed up. We're really, could just go to the gym. Mm. And you might not have the genetics to get a body like Jen Selter or who's the one that you like? Summer Rae. Summer Rae. You might not have genetics to get like that, but you're going to look a hell of a lot better and more natural and you're going to lead a long and healthy life doing it the correct way. And you're... Hard work will be appreciated by somebody that was actually going to stick around. And even if they don't, you're still healthy. You haven't done irreversible damage to yourself. We're lying. Obviously not for everyone. But if you're in that boat, you know what boat I'm talking about. Cancel that surgery. Because one, the trend's going to be gone in a few years. Two, it hurts. It's very painful and costs a lot of money. And three, you will regret it because that man is going to be gone. And then you'll be stuck with a freaking dump truck that you can't get rid of and get screamed at on the street by old ladies on drugs she's right it is a trend a, a long time ago i remember when i was growing up I, I realized this as a kid because i was watching a lot of wrestling back then it the, th the thing to do in the 90s was get breast implants that was the mm. big thing then it wasn't bb no one was getting their asses done back in the day no but back in the day it was an insult if you said a girl had a big bum yeah yeah i, I remember at one point it was like being mm. being a pancake was what was what was in now it's and look it's it's okay to like want, want to have a big ass but build it like build the muscles in your ass so that it comes out i've seen girls go from having pancakes to having very very perky defined asses that they've built in the gym and there's nothing more attractive than that because that not only shows hard work but it's real you know what you're putting your hands on is real it's not some plastic it's not some fake shit and i'm not putting girls down that have bbls but you should probably reconsider it if you're plan on getting the surgery done do you really want to live with those health ramifications when you're going into your 30s or your 40s to impress a bunch of guys who've got instagram likes really really not worth it this girl should be a shining example of what you don't do because like she said the guy is probably not going to be there rate of divorce or relationships failing in this day and age are so insanely high that doing something dangerous to your body like that just is not worth it i feel sorry for honestly and i feel sorry for any girl that's done this to impress a guy and i feel sorry for guys that are, are doing she dumb shit she still looks good though like she she should embrace it still like she's spent the money on it she looks good enjoy it but she Fuck said she's in guy. pain no she said it is painful like i think getting it done is painful i think having a bbo in general is just it makes life more difficult i'm pretty sure they tell you, you can't sit on your ass for quite a while like you have to sleep in certain positions and even then, sitting on your ass for extended periods of time, for example, if you're an office worker, is going to start to mess with it. And then over time, when gravity starts to like make everything sag, I can't imagine that feels very comfortable. And then on top of that, it looks like she had everything done. Her stomach was perfectly flat. Her, her, her breasts were in perfect shape. And she had an, a big ass. So yeah, she looks great now. But what is she going to look like in 10 years when the weight starts getting put on? And because her body is essentially artificial, she's going to look bent out of shape. She's going to look all over the place. So, yeah, she's, she's got a couple of years to enjoy. If she doesn't stay on top of her fitness, like on top of her fitness, she's going to pay the price. And even then, she's probably going to pay the price anyway. Because if gravity is doing its job of the BBL, I don't know how squats, how the, what the dynamics with uh, squats are, because squats are really what helps you build your ass. If gravity is doing its job and squats, you're going down all the time. I don't really know how that works. I don't know where she's going to end up, so... This should be a lesson to young girls. Don't put it on your partner. It's not your partner's fault. Mm. People can like Instagram pictures. It doesn't necessarily mean that that is their type. And oftentimes you will see guys like girls with a flat chest or big tits or a mm. big ass or a flat ass. Like guys like all sorts of things, all sorts of flavors. You think you know what he likes because maybe he dated a certain number of girls that maybe, maybe look similar. He likes you. That's why he made you his girlfriend. Yeah.
And that's what they fail to understand. They look in so many other places other than the fact that this person's here with you in this moment. And instead of focusing on that, they focus on all this other BS and it just causes problems and it, it doesn't lead anywhere good. Obviously, there's, there's ins and outs of, of relationships. I'm not putting it all on women. To go to that extreme, that is all your fault. That is all your fault. And fair enough, she said it's mental health. She's got problems. And it's good that she made that video so other young girls can see it. Just reconsider if you're thinking about doing this now, if you're an 18 year old girl, if you're young and you're thinking about going for a BBL because all the other girls are doing it and you feel insecure because everyone's got a fat ass around you. Just think about these people in 10 to 15 years. Think about the longevity. Do not do things for instant gratification. Instant gratification oftentimes does not lead anywhere good.